Welcome to this video tutorial on using the Absoft FX3 debugger, the source level debugger included with Absoft Pro Fortran. This tutorial will cover four steps used to diagnose an access violation or memory reference error. These steps are building the program for debugging, launching the debugger, running the program inside the debugger, and diagnosing the error. During program development, execution will often terminate unexpectedly, producing an error message or dialog from the host operating system. Typically, these error reports provide little, if any, assistance in diagnosing the cause of the error. In these cases, a source-level debugger such as FX3 may be used to gather further information. Before using FX3, the program should be built to include debug information. When using the AppSoft tool's development environment, this is simply a matter of setting the active build to debug and rebuilding the project. With the project rebuilt in debug mode, a debugging session is started by clicking on the debug icon or by selecting debug from the Absoft Tools build menu. The FX3 debugger will load the executable program and arrange for it to stop execution at the first Fortran statement in the main program unit. At this point, there are several commands which can be used to allow the program to execute further. The step into and step over commands are used to execute the program one statement at a time. The difference is that the step into command will enter or step into any user subroutines or functions referenced in the current source line, while the step over command treats the whole line as a single statement. In debugging memory access problems, it is convenient to use the continue command to allow the program to run at full speed until the error occurs. When the error does occur, FX3 will display an alert dialog and indicate the source line which caused the problem. Sometimes the error may occur in a runtime library routine where no source code is available. In these cases, FX3 will display disassembled CPU instructions and the execution stack window is used to determine the last program source line executed before the error occurred. In this example, the errors occurred during execution of source line 22. Simply knowing which line produced the error may be enough information to diagnose the problem. If not, we use the FX3 to display the values of the variables referenced in the source line causing the issue. Here we see that the variable current is a Fortran pointer which has not been allocated or associated. Referencing pointer variables before they have defined values is a common cause of access violations or memory access errors. Referring back to the source line, we notice a typo. The equals operator has been used instead of the appointment assignment operator. This is the cause of our problem. Returning to Absoft Tools, we make the correction to the source file, rebuild and verify that the problem has been resolved. This concludes this tutorial on using the Absoft FX3 debugger. Further information on FX3 can be found in the FX3 debugger user guide located in your Absoft Pro Fortran documentation directory.